welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to be doing this again today. This is one that has been highly requested. I've had lots of messages and comments about this, so I'm excited to get into this one today. Now, this one we're doing today is finally the Murder, She Wrote. First six seasons, complete remastered in 1080p Blu-ray HD. I'm gonna get into this here, but before we do, I have a couple of things I wanna cover real quick. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Also click the bell notification below, so that way you get notified when I release new content, just like this today. So that way you get notified as I come out with a new video and you get to watch it right away then. So please make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and share this. That helps the channel to grow and helps out so I can keep bringing you more great content and more reviews and great things to find so that way you know what's out there for you to buy. Anyhow, let's dive into this. Let's get into this review. I'm real excited about this one today. It's taken me a long time to go through this, but I've got some exciting news to share with you guys and uh, this is going to be great. We're going to break down here the Murder, She Wrote six season box set. Now, this set specifically was released in Amazon France and I'll give you a little bit of an idea of that as it's Amazon dot fr also released amazon dot it italy has it as well as well as i think they have a couple of copies through the amazon dot de which is the germany website and then amazons dot uk website as well so you can go on there you can find this it does have a different uh, title to it it's arabesque i might have said that wrong but anyhow the, it, it is you can type murder she wrote blu-ray and it'll pull it up as well this is the first six seasons box set. This is all that's been released so far of the series. And it did take a while for me to get it. Obviously with everything that's going on in the world, they have stopped shipping some of these sets across border. So if you order it, you might have to wait a while or they might make you wait to actually get your set or you might have to wait to order it until some of this stuff is over or passed by. But for now, I did get mine, so I want to get this review out to you guys so you know what you're looking at, the content, the quality of it. Now, it's a huge box set, so I'm not going to sit here and hold it the entire time, but I will as I'm going through with this with you guys here. And you folks, I'm going to put up here screenshots as we're going along of the show, how it looks. I'll talk about that, and then I'm also going to break down and show you the cases and things like that as we're going through. Now, this set, I, I, I was really surprised by a lot of things uh, that are quite different than some of the other sets I've done from other countries. So... I'm going to get into that, but let's talk about just the show itself here for a minute. For those of you that don't know or maybe haven't seen it or just getting into collecting these things. So it was obviously a crime drama with a little bit of comedy in it. Murder, She Wrote was an American crime drama series. It starred Angela Lansbury. She played the title character in it of Jessica Fletcher, who is an author, basically writes mystery novels, things like that. And then she always gets involved in something that's uh, going on, whether it's... Um, a murder or a kidnapping, somebody disappearing. It's always a mystery. So it's a mystery of the week show. And it's very good. I, it's one of those things that uh, if you've seen Columbo, I'm a big fan of Columbo and Magnum P.I., which just to let you know, Magnum P.I. is in this show as well. He does appear uh, in the second part of the two-part series where it crosses over with Magnum P.I. So if you have Magnum P.I. on Blu-ray, that's another review I've done that you can check in my channel. For the Magnum PI Blu-ray set, that actually has part one in it, and then this has the part two, which crossed over into Murder, She Wrote, which was great two hours of television. It still holds up as one of the greatest crossovers between two large television shows that were just so widely known. Now, Murder, She Wrote ran from 1984 to 1996, and so it was on for 12 years. And it did have, after that, I think it had four TV movies that they went on and did later on after the series ended after its 12 seasons. But it was one of the most successful TV shows of its time. And still today, it's in syndication. It's extremely successful. So this is the first time, though, that it's been remastered for 1080p Blu-ray. And, and it just, it looks great. But I'm going to break down here and give you an idea of the content of the shows, what's in it what you get with it, if it's worth your money, and then give you a score on it as well. The things I liked and the things I disliked about it. So we've got season one here. Now, the thing I will tell you when I got this box set, I was extremely surprised about a couple of things. Some of you might not care as much, but I did. I care about packaging, how the box set is packaged, how it gets to me. 
if they took the time to individually wrap each set inside the larger box set and then wrap the box set with plastic that it comes in that you have to take off, it's just a way that you tell the manufacturer of this set cared about it. And let me tell you, it was done in double thick plastic, each individual box set inside the larger boxed case. So each one is wrapped individually. Then the box case was wrapped in thick plastic as well and thicker than what's normally in a US release. So I was surprised about that. And it was every single one came in perfect condition. There was no damage on any of them. I loved that. I loved that they were each individually wrapped. Then on top of that, you, you take out each set out of that box set and what you get is, is there's another slip cover, which is very nicely done. It's a thick slip cover. It's not some cheap old thin cardboard. There's a thick slip cover over the outside of it. And basically it has all of your information on the back of each set as well. Now it is in French, most of it. There are some English on it, but for the most part it's in French. So it is one of those things that, do I wish it was in English? Yes. But do I think we're gonna get it in America? No. And this is all that we've got. And so I'm very thankful that it's available to buy and to own and to watch. So, so that's a nice thing. It does have in season one on the, back, on the spine, it has the season. Then it tells you how many episodes. Each season for season one through six has 22 episodes in it. So the entire box set of all first six seasons basically has 132 episodes total. So this first six seasons is 132 episodes and it did take a long time to go through. The average runtime of each episode was about 49 minutes. So it's quite a large amount of content, but it's a great show. If you like mystery of the week, murder mysteries, shows like that, uh, like I said, like Columbo, Magnum PI, things like that, that this show you're gonna love. So Jessica Fletcher, who actually is the character in the show, uh, as you can see, it's a thick box that these come in, but Jessica Fletcher, the character of the show, she writes novels and murder mysteries and things like that and so they play off of that that she's a writer in it and then, and then things will happen along the way whether it's her cousin or a nephew something will happen someone will go missing or there'll be a car accident or somebody will be kidnapped or murdered and, and she's solving it figuring it out but it's done very well done very cleverly uh, there's always like little like throwbacks they have multitude a myriad of guest stars i mean i, I can't even list them all off i mean george clooney you name it, I mean, I already told you that Tom Selleck's in it. The show itself comes in really, really nice, clear. Blu-ray cases, they're they're thick. They're well put together and sturdy. You know how sometimes you get a Blu-ray case and it's pretty thin and flimsy? These were not, these were nice. Uh, it has a nice cover on the inside. Now this is inside the slip cover. So I said, you got a slip cover, then it's protected inside this. And you open it up and it just talks a little bit on the back and I'll give you just a little bit on this. now. It does have on it DTS HD Master Audio, but it's still 2.0, so the original way that it was, they, they didn't have a way to make it, as far as I know, they didn't. So it's 2.0, but it is DTS Master, and, and it does sound crisp and clean. There are some artifacting in it where you can hear like um, crackling from the, the transfer and things like that, but not, not noticeably bad and not, not too much at all. It, it's one of those things that it has, very, very crisp sound to it. Now, going into each box set, and I apologize, the discs, as you can see, they, they did a great job with how they packaged the discs in here, uh, but there is a downside to it, and that is that I can't keep these discs so that you can see them clearly here. I'll put pictures up here of the sets as I'm going along, but I can't get the discs to stay because they're in here so they don't touch each other. They're actually floating above each other, and enough that even them moving, if you can hear this, they're not knocking into each other. That's the actual spindle that's holding it. It's holding it above the other disc. So it kind of just floats there, which is nice because then the discs don't get scratched, which Blu-rays have a less chance of getting scratched anyways. But, but this box that I really liked, normally I don't like discs stacked on top. This one, they did a great job. Inside here then, you're gonna get in here a booklet, which I'll break some of this down. I'm not gonna go into every booklet in every one of these sets, but I will tell you, Almost all of these come with these. The only one that did not have the booklet in it was season six. Now I've reached out to Elephant Films who made this and I have not heard back if season six mine just didn't have the booklet that it should have, but all of them have it all the way through season one through five, except season six. 
I'll break a little this down and each booklet will follow after that. But to keep the length of the video not too long, I know you don't want to sit here for an hour, I can't go into every single booklet. There's tons in each of these. So it does have all four discs. Each season is similar. It has four discs on them. Uh, they're full HD 1080p. They do say that in English. It does say Blu-ray. It tells you the number of which Blu-ray you're on. It tells you which disc you're on, what you're watching, and it goes on it from there on and on. So it was very nicely done. The case is extremely nice. I'll take out one of the discs so you can see. So if you see here, it's got a protector over the top. So the disc sits up on top of the other one, and then the other one goes down below. And, and they came perfectly protected, no damage on any of the discs. So I thought that was extremely nice. We'll cover a little bit of the booklet here. Obviously the booklet is a nice, smooth, it's not thin. Inside it, it's got pictures of the episodes with, and this is again, because it's a France release, not from America. It is in French, but there are some English. So for example, when you get to, and lots of pictures, which I, I really like that. I like having a book where you can kind of go on, you have a little something, you can go in and look at pictures. I like picture books of shows and, and um, things like that. So I did really appreciate that. So when you get to the episode titles, it does have in English as well as in French. So when you get to the actual episode titles in the booklet, which is towards the back of the booklet, it has each episode listed out. It says what Blu-ray disc it's on in English. Then it says the episode number, and then it says it in French, and then it says it in English, the murder of Sherlock Holmes, for example, episode 1.01 .01 on Blu-ray disc number one, that's the first episode. So I thought that was really nice that, that you still do get the option of, you can see in your booklet what the episode titles are, what the episode number is, and what disc it is in English. So I did like that. And the booklet, like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's for a TV set booklet, I was surprised at everything that was included in this and that it had all those different color pictures. It's a nice, nice booklet that goes with it. And so that comes inside each of the box sets, season one through five. Season six was the only one of mine that did not have it. I don't know if that was an error um, and mine was accidentally didn't include that booklet. But as of right now, I haven't gotten a reply and haven't been able to get one. And see season two, same thing. You're gonna have your case that goes around the outside of it. And then you're gonna have obviously inside it you're gonna have your Blu-ray case. Now, the sides of your cases, both the outside of the cardboard box and your spine, same. It says the titles, it says what the case is, 1080p, Blu-ray disc, and then obviously the backs are exactly the same. So you know what you're getting as far as the Blu-rays go. Now, again, case, loved it. Absolutely loved that they had that. Now, when you get in here, again, it is same thing. You're gonna have your DTS HD Master 2.0 audio. Uh, again, 22 episodes. It does have a list of on the back. It does tell you a bunch of the guest stars that appear in the season. So just to give you an example, I was telling you something about some of the guest stars. Brian Cranston, who was obviously from Malcolm in the Middle and Breaking Bad. Uh, Linda Hamilton, who was in Terminator. Tom Bosley, who was from Happy Days. Um, you've got Vera Miles, uh, Roddy McDowell, that's just to give you as an example a few of the guest stars that were on just even season two. Open it up, same thing you're gonna find inside. You're gonna have your booklet, love the booklet, and then you're gonna have all four discs, exact same case, all protected perfectly, no issues with it, great case. I did really like how each one matched the same. Some box sets I've gotten before the cases change over time. So you'll get one case and then later on the next case won't be as nice or it'll be a little bit different manufacturer, different case. All of these match the same. Every single case was identical, which I really like because these cases are thick and then they have the outside cardboard sleeve over it, which I really like that added and they did a superb job on this. Elephant Films who released this did a superb job releasing this set. So we're gonna get to season three here. So we've got season three here. Same thing, you got your cardboard sleeve on the outside. Case inside, matches again, exactly the same on all these. Different pictures on them, but I'm saying the way they're made is the same. Cases on the sides, and then the back. And like I said, as I'm going along, I'm putting them up here so you can see them, because I know me holding them doesn't do it justice because you can't really see it well. So you'll see them up here, up here as I'm going along. Same thing on this one, you open it up, and then you obviously have the discs and the booklet inside and then obviously all four discs same case again and uh, 
as far as the show goes, I will tell you this much as I'm going along here. The show itself grows on you. If you've ever watched any of those mystery shows, like I talked about Magnum P.I. or Columbo or Rockford Files or Diagnosis Murder, I mean, there's, there's dozens of them that were released around that era. They grow on you. The more you watch them, the more you get into the characters. And then they play off of things that have happened earlier or they'll reference things. So it's a really great thing if you have the series. And it's kind of like nowadays they talk, they talk about binge watching things all the time. If you binge watch a show like this where you watch several episodes in a row, you really get hooked into it and you really enjoy it. And so that's why I love buying complete box sets. Now this set obviously is only the first six seasons, but that's all it's been released so far. And I, I take it as and assume that based on them releasing it in a six box set right here, they're gonna release the other remaining six seasons in a similar box as well. So then I'll just have two boxes, first six, second six, which I am more than fine with that. I'd rather get the first six right now while they're working on the next six and then uh, have two separate box sets. I did like how it has all of them on the back of the main box. It tells how many discs, tells you it's obviously a universal release. Then it has a unique cover art on it, explaining that it's the first six seasons on it. And then, like I said, it was a nice thick box. It's not thin like some of those cases that you get, like my Magnum PI one from uh, Europe. It's a thin, flimsy case. This one's actually pretty nice. And then the top does have a different picture on it as well. So. The outside box, very nice. I did like this a lot. It's season four, and obviously different cover art. Same thing though, inside, you're gonna have your two different, uh, the outside case, your inside, your spine, and then obviously back of your case. Now, with these, same thing inside, you open it up, you got your four discs, and then you got your booklet. Now, as far as if you're wanting to know quality of the show, if you've watched the DVDs, they're pretty rough. Most of the DVDs that are out, they're very grainy. Uh, the colors have almost no saturation in them, no pop. The sounds muddled in some of the episodes. They're not all that way, but there are some that are worse than others. The sound quality in this, even though it's 2.0, because they did the DTS remaster on it and took it from the original film negatives and things like that, and then remastered both the film plus the audio, it does sound clear. Um, I didn't notice the sound being muddled where I couldn't understand it or couldn't hear it at all. And that's a big thing, especially for those of us that collect these. I want it to be something that years go down the road. I, you know, if hearing gets worse or those that have harder of hearing or things like that, that they can hear it clearly. And it was extremely clear. I didn't have any issues with any of the episodes. Quality of it was great. I did like the fact that the actual like film negatives, and if any of you have seen film green and I'll try to show you some pictures as we're going along up here of like the actual show itself showing here's what a screenshot looks like of it and here's another screenshot some of them are going to show a little bit of film green that is natural to the film that it was filmed on they did take out um, any of the imperfections and speckles and um, warping that was in the original films that that kind of appeared in the DVDs they did fix, as far as I could tell, most of that in the Blu-ray releases here. I didn't see really any of that stuff. But there's some natural film grain. Um, some of you have mentioned it before on other releases that you said, well, why isn't it, why is there a little bit of film grain in some scenes? That's natural that some of the directors had that, not only because of the film it was filmed on, but also because of some of it was for the effect of, to give it that effect. So some people said, well, hey, there's a couple of scenes where it seems hazy. That was actually a filter they put over the camera to give it that hazy effect, like a flashback scene or she's dreaming and it kind of gives it like a hazy effect. It's not that they didn't remaster the show completely or that they didn't remaster it correctly. They did. It's just that some of that is natural to how they filmed it and what they intended that show to be. So if you do see some film grain in some episodes and things like that, it is not that it was not mastered correctly or that it wasn't done, but otherwise, the show is incredibly sharp. And if these pictures can do it justice, you will see that it is just incredibly sharp. It looks amazing. I have never seen Murder, She Wrote ever look this good. And, and the crazy thing is, is it actually, you can see like Angela Lansbury's like, um, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but wrinkles and lines. And I mean, and not that 
you really wanted to see it, but the fact of it is, is it just shows you how crisp and clear it is now. And if you watch the DVDs, it's just kind of hazy. You can't even, it's kind of like wearing dirty glasses that are covered in mud and then you're cleaning the glasses off and all of a sudden you can see again. I mean, I mean this show between the DVDs that have always existed till this, it is hands down night and day different. And Elephant Films did a great job with the universal uh, stuff that they were given. Just, just an absolutely great job. So we're going to go in here to season five. This is season five. Again, you got your outside, your spine, and then the back of your case. And with season five, a booklet inside. And then you're going to have, obviously, your discs behind it. Now, the only thing that I did notice negative-wise in the show when I was watching it was when you're watching it, there is sometimes that it will have subtitles, not running the whole time. It's not subtitles like what you normally see where subtitles run along the bottom for everything everybody says. But you will notice that sometimes when they're talking about um, like a newspaper and they hold the newspaper up, it might have at the bottom then a little French subtitle for what the title of the newspaper was. It's not, it's not obtrusive, it's not a ton, it's not all over the place. You're not gonna see it constantly. You're not gonna see it all over the place. It's, it's very selective and few. So it's not a running subtitle all the time, but there is every once in a while, you will see something like that every couple of episodes, or three or four episodes. So that's the only thing that I would say because it's a French release that they did put that in there where it will have like, let's say it says it's a bad day in Chicago, for example, on the, on the newspaper, it'll put that down at the bottom in French. I didn't find a way to take that off. And, and it's not all the time. I'd probably say in the first like 22 episodes I watched, maybe three times you saw that. And that was about it. So, so it's very rare. So it doesn't, doesn't detract from the show. But that is one thing you'll notice. Now, something a lot of you have asked about is the language. I did talk about that it's DTS Master 2.0 Audio. But what I didn't mention is, is what language is it in? You're all thinking, well, is it in French? It's in both. So it's in English and French. So here's what you do. And I'm gonna put up above here a picture of a remote. And if you see this remote here, this remote shows you that there's actually a subtitle or language option on almost every remote for every Blu-ray player that you have. All you gotta do is click the option for the language selection. So you don't have to mess with the subtitles, you just go into audio or language, whatever your remote says, usually it's audio. You click audio button and it'll bring up your two options, French or English. So you can select French or English. Now, for those of you that live in Germany or Asia or any other country that wants a different language other than French or English, you're out of luck. It's French and English on this release, that's it. So you can choose French or you can choose English. I was thankful it has the original English audio mastered in 2.0 DTS and, and, and I think it's great. It's all the original audio sounds, that's what I was talking about, about it being crisp and clear. It's in 2.0 DTS master audio and the nice thing about that is, is because it is, you don't, you don't have all the crackling. They fixed a lot of that that the DVDs had or the muddled sound. Uh, and when you click on the audio option on your remote, it will change it to English on that episode. So this was the only other negative thing about it that I disliked. Every episode, even if you play all and you're playing them in a row, each time the next episode plays, you have to click the audio button to go back to English. It will start off with the like intro of, so kind of like what Columbo did, Murder, She Wrote does as well, where it has a like snippet intro of here's what's gonna happen in the episode, which I always fast forward because I don't want the episode to be given away, but it gives you like, well, here's what's gonna happen in the episode, then the episode starts. So that little intro will start in French. You have to click your audio button, it'll take it to English then, each episode. So even if you play all, it doesn't stay in English. Every time a new episode starts, it starts it back in French. So that was the only other nitpicky I had about negative things about the set was it doesn't let you keep it in English as far as every time it went to the next episode, I just had to press the audio button. Is it horrible? No. It just means you gotta press the audio button, it puts it back in English, you're good to go the whole episode. Then 50 minutes later, an hour later, when the next episode starts, you do it again. That was a negative thing, that's it's gonna come off of the score, but 
as far as that goes, that's a small thing. That wasn't a big deal. So here's season six. Season six was the only one, like I told you, that didn't come with a booklet. And season six looks the exact same, uh, both the outside cover and inside. Then you got your spine, and then on the back, obviously, you have the back of it. Now, here was the only other thing that I noticed in this release that I was gonna talk with you guys about. So on season six, I was missing the booklet. Mine did not come with a booklet for season six. So, and, and I would assume that's a manufacturing error. Is it the end of the world? No, but I wanted the booklet, sure. I thought the booklets were really cool. But I've contacted them, just haven't heard anything because of everything going on around the world. I don't even know that they're open right now in France. Elephant Films is a French company and they're in France. So I don't know if they're open right now or not, but I would like to eventually get if there is a booklet for season six and I'm hoping that uh, Elephant Films does reach out to me and get back to me and let me know. If they do, I'll post it down in the comments and let you know if season six does end up having a booklet with it or not. The first five did have the booklets with them. Season six didn't. But when they're all put in the case, they look really nice together. I, I love how they did everything matching. You have in English, obviously, what season it is. Then you have how many episodes right below that. Then it also says 1080p, full HD, Blu-ray. And I, I kid you not when I tell you that this set looks great. I actually think the set itself looks better than even the Columbo release did. And I loved the Columbo release that I got. And, and that's also on my channel. If you go search for that, you'll find it under my channel as well. There is a Columbo release of the entire series remastered on Blu-ray. And this actually looked better than that. They did an even better job on this release, full 1080p. It looks superb. And when I'm talking about superb, the set's audio quality has been done great. They cleaned that up. The film quality is great does have some film grain in some of it, but that's the natural film grain, not the unnatural that time's worn it out. These are things that they wanted it to have that for a reason. It's sharp, it's clear. The episode's colors pop and just really stand out. The writing in it is great. It was one of the most successful and longest running television shows in history. And still to this day, they say that when it was airing on TV, it averaged like 40 million viewers Per night and that was a big big deal I mean I think still today that's a huge deal it ran on CBS I think it was their Sunday night lineup for more than a decade almost you'll be blown away by the quality of it it has action it has comedy adventure crime murder I mean you just can't go wrong with it if you like mystery shows novels things like that it's just it does such a great job and as the show went on it got better Season one had some episodes that weren't as great as they were from season two on, but overall, I mean, watching it again, myself starting from the beginning and going all the way through it, it really surprised me how well this show was done. The show, all six seasons, you are going to have to wait a while to get it if you order it though. Because of everything going on in the world, there's nothing we can do about it. That's just the way it is. It seems like places aren't shipping. I mean, even Amazon in the US is sticking to Amazon in the US. There's just there's not as much. So just be patient, but understand when you get it, it's well worth it and it is worth your time. You'll be very surprised by the quality of it, but it had 264 episodes, then four TV movies after that. So the series went on for a very long time. This set, as I had said, it does cover 132 of the episodes. So the first six seasons has 132 episodes in them. And this is what's going to be extremely exciting to most of you. And I I guess I hadn't talked about this yet, so now I'm gonna break it down. This is region free. That's correct. And I always put it up here so you guys see it in bold, so that way you know exactly what I'm talking about. This release is region free. It plays in every Blu-ray player. Doesn't matter if you have a special one or not, you can buy this in Europe, you can buy this in Australia, you can buy this in Germany, you can buy this in Asia, you can buy this in the America, you can buy this, doesn't matter region free. So this set is region free, though it does only play in English or French audio. So those are your two options for the audio is English or French. So if you do live in another country and you don't speak English or French, you're out of luck. This set is English and French audio only. So I was blown away by that. It sounds amazing. 
the quality of it's amazing, but being region free is just a wow factor because you don't have to buy anything special. So I know a lot of you that watch my channel, some of you have those special Blu-ray players that we've talked about that are region free so you can play all these from all over the country and it basically unlocks them. Well, this set, you don't have to have anything special. If you've got an American Blu-ray player or any other Blu-ray player anywhere, you can buy it, you can play it with no issues whatsoever. So that is huge for this release set because I didn't think this would ever be released just like some of those other sets. And to be honest with you, this has taken, Elephant Films announced this 10 years ago, almost, eight years ago, somewhere around there. It was a long time ago that Elephant Films announced this and they didn't release it, it took forever. And they have been taking their time to do it. But I will tell you this, the quality of it is outstanding. Of the box sets that I've gotten over the years, and you know I've got Columbo, and I've got Magnum P.I., and Bionic Woman, and Six Million Dollar Man, and, and the list goes on and on that I've gotten from other countries. Of all those box sets, this one was the nicest, by far, put together box set that I have gotten. I so wish this was done in America and it would have been released this way, but it's okay that it's not because at least I own it and it is in English. Watch it in English, so the only difference is I gotta press a button remote to change the audio each episode. Big deal. The thing of it is, is at least I own it, and you're gonna wanna own it. To give you a score, and this is a first for the channel, this box set, other than having to change the audio each time, and other than that sometimes there's a little bit of a subtitle on the bottom for like a newspaper that pops up or something like that in French, that's the only reason why it got dinged two points. It's a 9.8 release. So the score for this set, first time for this channel, this is the highest score that I've given a box set yet. 9.8 for this release. It is great. Elephant Films took their time and they took their love to this show. And I, I kid you not, you watch this show, if I could explain to you when you own it, you'll see that they took their time to make sure the box set looks great. It's not just some cheap flimsy cardboard. Then they basically threw some cases in it. They made sure they had nice cases. They made sure it had a nice soft booklet that has nice shiny color images on it. And they didn't just throw in one or two pages. Each booklet's got 20, 30 pages in it. So if you're gonna buy it, I would suggest you buy the first six seasons all together. It was a way better deal. You get a better deal for buying them all six together, whether you're going through Amazon uh, IT, so Amazon.IT, or Amazon.FR, which is Amazon France. So if you go to the Amazon France website, then you can go in there and you can buy all six seasons together. And that was the cheapest place that I found to buy this at, was actually the Amazon France website. That was where I found the six seasons was the cheapest and then the shipping and everything. Now, you will need to use a computer and use one that has like maybe Google Translate. And if you go to the website, you can actually just click Google Translate and it'll translate the whole website, everything. So you're, it looks like you're shopping on Amazon America. It makes it real easy then if you're searching in English through the French, you can just put in Murder, She Wrote, Blu-ray, and search through till you find the six season box set. It was a very good value for what it was. I think overall for all six seasons, it cost me in US dollars, I think it cost me roughly about $189 for all six seasons. That was with shipping. So not too bad at all. Uh, I don't know if you, what you consider expensive or not. Yes, it's ex it's more expensive. Obviously, you're having it shipped from overseas, so the shipping was a little bit more, but you can get them on sale. I think I saw recently, they actually had it on sale for like 130 bucks US dollars, maybe 140. So they go on sale, so depending on when you buy it, just keep an eye out for it, and you can get all six seasons. It's well worth it. 9.8 for this review. Again, Murder, She Wrote, full HD 1080p, remastered Blu-rays look amazing. Uh, 9.8 is a great score for this. It's, it's well deserving the set. As far as Elephant Films did, I hope they continue to do more and more TV sets. They had said they were gonna do things like Six Million Dollar Man, which I did get that already and I have a review on my channel for that, but it's not from Elephant Films, it's from another manufacturer, Koch Media. But that one, uh, it's nice, it looks great, and I did enjoy that. But they had said they were going to do a release of their own of that. They have not yet. And I don't know if they're gonna to continue to or if they're going to release that. But I do hope they keep doing more and more universal releases like this because there's a lot of shows out there that, that they, they've just done a great job on it. And I can't recommend it more. One of my top rated reviews that I've done 
the audio quality, the picture quality, I, I can't even stress it enough. You need to get it and give yourself the benefit of watching this on Blu-ray because your DVDs, you're gonna get rid of them as fast as you can. The second you pop this in and you see the difference in quality between this versus what the old DVDs are, you'll never go back to those DVDs. You'll actually be surprised you watched the DVDs because I was, I was like, whoa, like it just, it is that good. I hope you've all enjoyed this today. I, I worked really hard on this review for you guys. It took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to and I do apologize for that. I had a lot I had to cover. I mean, obviously 132 episodes is a lot of content to watch, but I got it done for you guys. And it was fun the whole time and I, I really enjoyed it. And I know you will enjoy it if you get it as well. Make sure that if you want, get yourself a shirt. I do have these on my website as well. They help support this channel. So anything you buy just goes back into helping with getting the sets and different things that I can review, lighting, software, whatever's required. So make sure if you can support the channel and buy yourself a shirt, they're on my website. It's just shirts that I have on there, V-neck shirts for ladies and men. So if you buy a shirt on there, it'll ship to you. It looks just like these, depending on what color you get. So definitely make sure you go out there and get yourself a shirt to help support the channel that helps it to keep growing. Also, please make sure you subscribe and you like this video and you share it. The more you share, that also helps get it out there so that way more and more people see it and that helps support the channel as well. But make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification. When you click that bell notification, then it notifies you when I release a new video. That way you know what's coming out and that, hey, here's a new video for you to watch, something new for you to get into. I hope you guys really enjoy this. I enjoy doing this. I love getting on here. I have so many comments from you guys and I enjoy all the positive feedback. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe comment, you share this video, and then also don't forget to like it. That way that shows up on there that you liked and enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up for me. Got another great review coming out soon. I hope all of you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.